Today, guys, we're going to go through looking at a code P0340 in uh, 2017 Honda CRV. Um, it's shown as a Bank One cam sensor, um, position sensor. So, what I'm going to do is open this up, um, take a look at the sensor itself, and then uh, determine if we need to do a, a cam chain replacement. I'm um, not going to do the replacement myself today. Uh, we're just going to test out some things and, and show you how to check it on your own. And then you can decide if you want to do the work on your, yourself or take it into a, a mechanic to do the, the, the chain if needed. So come along and uh, see the process of testing this out. Okay, for, first things first here is, is the actual sensors are under here. So I've already started these bolts out. There's a, a bolt here and a bolt here. Um, to get the sensor out, you don't even really have to do anything. You just take those two bolts off for this assembly and you move it back. And then the sensor A, this is bank one right here, this front one. And then this is your, your back bank. So this is a separate bank. My code is kicking out this one. So these are all 10 millimeter bolts, um, these two, as well as the sensor bolt. So I've taken this out already um, prior to turning the camera on. So I'm set to go here. And uh, I'm going to pull this sensor out. And it's it's fairly dirty in there. I don't know what's going on with this oil in this thing. Uh, it, it seems a lot more dirtier than other cars that I've seen. Uh, and, and I know this vehicle is relatively well maintained as far as oil is concerned. But, so here we've got the sensor. Um, it's a small, small unit. Um, three wire. So what we'll do here is test this unit. I see we've got a red wire, a white wire, and a green wire. And I don't know right offhand what what pinout we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the vehicle, get a voltage meter, and I'm going to test these pins to see what voltage we have and uh, go from there. So now I've pressed the button twice, the ignition twice. I've got my wires here. One in, the, I'm gonna put one in the center and one on the red wire. So the red and the white harness wires. And that's giving me 4.9. So I'm going to move this one out here to the outside. And the outside's giving me, so we get 4.9 volts um, doing the outside red is positive and the inside the middle white is negative and if i move that negative to the green i get 0.27 volts so let's see what happens here when we plug in the sensor and now i have to basically put this probe in the back side here. Okay, so what happens here? 0.27 is for the outside. I've got the, I've got my red voltage meter lead on the red wire, and I've got my black voltage meter lead on the green wire. Okay, and we get a 0.27 reading, and that's very consistent. It stays right there. So now when I take this metal steel wrench here and I put this on the sensor, you'll see that it changes, okay? And it goes directly up and back down, back up, okay? And it goes right to 4.9, 4.75, close enough, okay? 4.75. 4.75. So this sensor is good, okay? Um, which is unfortunate because that means I have to dig further into this. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.